This video is about geometric sequence. We see u sub n is a geometric sequence. If and only if u sub n divided by previous term equals a constant r. The r is constant and is called a common ratio. This symbol means if and only if. If u sub n is a geometric sequence, then u sub n divided by previous term is a constant. If u sub n divided by previous term is a constant, then u sub n is a geometric sequence. So we normally use this one to prove a sequence is a geometric. The general form for geometric sequence, we have explicit formula. That's uh, u sub n equals the first term times r to the n minus 1's power. Recursive formula will be u sub n equals previous term times uh, r. The graphing calculator can graph uh, geometric sequence. For example, we put 3 times 2 to the nth power. Then from the graph, you could see this is an exponential function. The domain will be natural number. For exponential function, we can write down y equals a times b to the x power. Compare to Explicit formula of for geometric sequence, we have u sub n equals u sub 1 times r to the n minus 1's power. We could say that b equals r. So r will be the base. Common ratio, that's the base. Variable here is n and a uh, this will be the x. Let's compare arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence. For explicit formula, this is the formula. And uh, also arithmetic sequence, uh, that is a linear function. Geometric sequence will be exponential function. So for geometric sequence, this will be the explicit formula. For recursive formula, arithmetic sequence, that's the previous term, you add common difference. For geometric sequence, that's the previous term times a common ratio. For number one, determine whether each sequence is a geometric sequence. Then find the sixth term. According to the definition, if we see a sequence is a geometric sequence, then the term divided by previous term equals a constant. Therefore, we will work on 256 divided by previous term, that's a 512 equals 1 over 2. 128 divided by previous term, that's 256 equals one half. So it is a, a geometric sequence. For geometric sequence, we know r equals one half. Then this is the formula. We need a u sub six equals u sub one, that's a five twelve. So 512 times 1 half, n equals 6, so 6 minus 1, you will get 16. That is a u sub 6. Let's look at the d. Still, you need to figure out uh, any term divided by previous term equals a constant. Therefore, we got negative 1 over 8 divided by 
1 over 16. This is a complex fraction. Therefore, we jump. You will get negative 16 over 8 equals negative 2. 1 over 4 divided by negative 1 over 8. Still jump. Then you can get negative 8 over 4 equals negative 2. Negative 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 4. Then jump. You will get negative 4 over 2 equals negative 2. So it is a geometric sequence. And uh, R equals negative 2. Then u sub 6 equals u sub 1 times uh, r to the 6 minus 1's power. u sub 1, that's 1 over 16 times negative 2 to the 5th power. You will get negative 2. For number 3, consider the sequence. Show that, that means prove this sequence is a geometric sequence. According to the definition, we need to figure out the term divided by previous term equals constant. So we get negative 6 divided by 12, that's negative 1 over 2. 3 divided by negative 6 equals negative 1 over 2. Negative 3 over 2 divided by 3 jump, then you can get negative 3 over 6 equals negative 1 half. So, it is a geometric sequence. For B, find the formula for its general form A sub n. According to this general form, we got U sub n equals u sub 1, that's uh, 12, times r equals uh, negative 1 half. Then n minus 1's power. You can leave as it is. Then for c, find its uh, 13th term. So we got u sub 13 n you got to change it into 13. So 12 times negative 1 half to the 13 minus 1's power. We put it into calculator, you will get, you will get 3 over 1024. Let's go to number 4. Find the general form u sub n. We know arithmetic sequence that's a linear function, so we got uh, this um, equation. For geometric sequence, think about exponential function. We have a times b to the x power over a b to the y power. Then you will get the b to the x minus y power. In other words, you can think about this way. Division of uh, power, we subtract the exponents. So when you are given two terms uh, of a geometric sequence, then you got to do the ratio. In order to avoid the negative exponents, we normally put uh, bigger term number to the numerator. So we got to do u sub 15 over u sub 7 equals r to the 15 minus 7. Now we plug in u sub 15, that's a 384. u sub 7, that's 24 equals r to the Ace power. So get the 16 equals r to the ace power. Then this is a power equation. For power equation, 
you got to be careful. When this n equals the even number, you have plus or minus. When n is odd number, just like one solution. For example, we have、uh, x square equals、uh, five. Then x equals plus or minus square root of five. But we have、uh, x third power equals five. Then x equals the cubic root of five. Therefore, you will get the r equals eighth root of sixteen. Sixteen, I can do two to the fourth power. Don't forget plus or minus here. Then we reduce, so you get the plus or minus the square root of two. That is the r. Now we got to use this formula to get the general form. You choose any of these as u sub m. Let's choose u sub seven equals twenty four. So we know that m equals seven, and u sub m equals u sub seven. So we plug in. We got. U sub n over U sub seven equals r to the n minus seventh power. Now we plug in U sub n over U sub seven. That's a twenty-four equals plus or minus square root of two two to the n minus seventh power. Then we multiply by twenty-four both sides. You will get the u sub n equals twenty four times plus or minus square root of two to the n minus seventh power. Let's go to D. We got to use this formula first. So u sub seven over u sub three equals r to the seven minus the third power. Therefore, we plug in five over four over five equals r to the fourth power. Drop down, reduce. You will get the one over four equals r to the fourth power. Therefore, we do the fourth root、uh, both sides. Don't forget plus or minus. Then for one over four, I can write down one over two to the second power. Then we do fourth root of that. You will get the this is r. Reduce. So you get the plus or minus the square root of one over two equals r. For square root of one over two, we can do square root of one over square root of two equals one over square root of two. That's a square root of two over two. Therefore, we got the r equals plus or minus square root of two over two. For the general form, I use u sub three equals five. M equals three and a u sub. M that equals u sub three. That equals five. Therefore, I plug in u sub n over u sub three equals r n minus third power. Then we plug in u sub n over u sub three. That's five equals. R that's plus or minus square root of two over two to the n minus the fifth power. So both sides we multiply by five. You will get the u sub n equals five times plus or minus square root of two over two to the n minus fifth power. This will be the general form. 
For number five, what's the first term of a geometric sequence? This one, which exceeds fourteen、uh, hundred. First of all, we need to work out、uh, the general form. We are given u sub one equals four. R equals four square root of three over four. That's a square root of three. Therefore, we have u sub n equals four times square root of three to the n minus one's power. Then we set up general form greater than forty eight hundred. Then we solve this exponential equation. We got to use、uh, logarithm to solve. Isolate、uh, square root of three to the n minus one's power first. Therefore, we divide it by four both sides. You will get square root of three n minus one greater than twelve hundred. Then we do the log square root of three both sides. On the left side, this is gone. We got the n minus one greater than log base of three of twelve hundred. We go to calculator twelve point nine. Then add one both sides. We got the n greater than thirteen point nine. Therefore, n equals fourteen. For number six, find the k. We are given the consecutive arithmetic sequence. For number six, find k. We are given consecutive geometric terms. Here is the formula. If a, b, and c are Consecutive geometric sequence, then b equals plus or minus square root of a times c. B is called the geometric mean. Normally, we set up b square equals a times c. Now look at the b. According to b square equals a times c, we set up three k square. Equals k times twenty minus k, so we get nine k square equals distributive property twenty k minus k square. This is a quadratic function. Therefore, we set up equal to zero. Move everything to the left side. So we got. Nine k square plus k square minus twenty k equals zero. We got ten k square minus twenty k equal to zero. We do common factor. Take a ten k outside. K minus two equal to zero. So we get k one equal zero. K two equals two. For geometric sequence, you have to plug in to check. For k one equals zero, we plug in zero three times zero, then twenty minus zero. It's、uh, not right. So basically, k one is the、uh, extraneous solution. For k two, we got the two three times two, then twenty minus two. We get two. Here is a six. Then eighteen. Yeah, this is true. Therefore, we only have well one solution. That's k equals two. Let's go to c. We still set up b square equals a times c. This is b. This is a. Here is c. So we get k plus eight square. Equals k times nine k. For k plus a square, remember a plus b square 
equals a square plus two a b plus b square. Therefore, we get k square plus sixteen k plus sixty four equals nine k square. This is a quadratic equation. We need equal to zero. We don't want the k square. That coefficient is negative. Therefore, move every term to the right side. You will get zero on the left side. Nine k square minus k square minus sixteen k minus sixty four. So we get. Eight k square minus sixteen k minus sixty four. We divide it by eight. That's common factor both sides. You will get zero equals k square minus two k minus eight. Then, do ninja x k minus four k plus two zero. Then your k one. Equals four k two equals negative two. Still, we plug in. We check k one equals four. We plug in this、uh, geometric sequence. We get four, four plus eight, and a nine times four. Work this out. We got four, twelve, and a thirty six. Yeah, k one is good. Now let's check、uh, k two equals negative two. Negative two, negative two plus eight, nine times negative two. So we plug in, we got negative two, six, negative eighteen. This is true also. So we have two solutions、uh, to this.、Uh, Problem.